New Hartford boys lacrosse, the two seed, but heading out to Syracuse to play third seeded West Hill at a neutral site. Of course, you can say what you want about that. But for the Spartans, this was a chance to reach the Class C title game and get revenge on the Warriors after they beat them in this exact round last season. This year, though, the seeding flipped and the site changed, but other than those two, the biggest difference is that New Hartford actually beat West Hill earlier this year in a contest that saw extra time. The first time they've been able to do that post-pandemic. So courtesy of our friends at WSYR in Syracuse, here we are. The Spartans 14-3 and on the year, trying to do something that's been a while since they were able to do, and that's win a sectional title in the cross. Second half of this one, and West Hill in the lead, but the Spartans back in it after a block shot. Mateo Ripa is there, grabs the ground ball, goes over the top of Keller O'Hearn in that to score. That draws New Hartford back within three with six seconds left in the third quarter. Then in the fourth, New Hartford back on the attack. Dylan Zajacek gives to Repo once again. He opens space for himself, goes between the legs of the goaltender, and just like that, it's a two-goal game. Warriors need to get something back late, and it's Charlie Damore who's able to do that here. He wasn't able to do anything in the first game between the two, just an assist for him, but he scores there. That's the goal. Lots of spin on it, and the ball just gets past Walker Williams to make it 9 Seven. And the Spartans do score another, but their late attack comes up short as West Hill runs out the clock over on the other end after that save. They win the contest 9-8, to eight. and if you took the scores from the first game and tonight's, the difference comes out to zero. West Hill with a one-goal victory to move on to the Class C championship game. Jamesville DeWitt and Homer played on the other side of the bracket to get to that title with the Rams coming out on top. That championship will take place on Wednesday of next week. For now, that's all for sports. Check out SteamLineHomepage.com for your top sports stories. Some eyewitness news coming up after the break.